Today's topic of utmost importance, and we want you to pay attention. Today, we talk about PCOS. So, what is PCOS? PCOS stands for Polycystic Ovary Syndrome. It is also known as Stein-Leventhal Syndrome and is the most common endocrine disorder in reproductive aged women. It can strike at younger ages as well. It's a condition that affects between 6 and 15% of women of childbearing age. The ovaries build up numerous small follicles but is not capable of releasing eggs due to multiple cysts in the ovaries, 2 to 5 millimeters in diameter as viewed on a sonogram, which is caused by overproduction of hormones called androgens. Our hormones control thousands and thousands of processes in our bodies. When our hormones are not balanced, the rest of our body becomes imbalanced as well. It's the hormonal imbalance that can cause different diseases. There's no such test to diagnose polycystic ovary syndrome in early stages except for some physical medical appearances in body and medical history, like acne, gestational diabetes, miscarriage or premature birth, excessive hair growth on body parts like the neck, chest, back or hips, sleep apnea, depression, anxiety, and eating discord high blood pressure, oily skin, thinning and hair loss from the scalp, irregularity or prolonged menstrual cycle, weight gain, abnormal uterine bleeding, and infertility, which estimates affects more than 4 million women. If you're suffering from PCOS, it increases the risk of different PCOS-related health diseases such as stroke, heart diseases, and diabetes. These risks get higher in females having endocrine disorder than those without PCOS. It also increases the risk of some types of cancer. For instance, some research has shown that the risk of cancer of the endometrium, the inside lining of the uterus, may be higher for women with polycystic ovary syndrome than it is for women without PCOS. Endometrial cancer may occur. It gets hard to conceive, but if you are able to become pregnant, then you're at risk for spare difficulties during pregnancy, labor, and delivery. This encompasses preeclampsia, a menacing condition for mother and baby both. The suggested treatment to resolve symptoms is the delivery of the baby and placenta. Having PCOS and feeling like a healthy human being at the same time can come at a serious cost, an investment of time, effort, and money, so you should visit a gynecologist. They will ask about your medical history if your symptoms persist. They can work with you to identify the cause and recommend next steps. Some oral medications can be prescribed by doctors to help you in ovulation. You may feel frustrated at times. Taking proactive steps regarding your health can improve your mood as well as reduce your symptoms. Yoga and meditation can be very effective. Experts recommend 150 minutes of exercise every week. However, polycystic ovary syndrome does not change with age, so they may continue to show symptoms. It is evident in patients with extreme insulin resistance of hereditary insulin receptor mutations or lipodystrophy. It's not curable, but maintaining a treatment of some of its symptoms can help. All treatments that cause a reduction in serum insulin levels, a healthy diet whether by weight loss, bariatric surgery, or by administration of medication significantly improve ovulation and hyperandrogenemia in PCOS. About half of PCOS patients experience improvement in the PCOS symptoms when they lose weight. Yes ladies, losing weight and maintaining healthy eating habits can work naturally. A perfect diet with care is just on your hands. Maintenance of a healthy weight, daily routine, physical exercise, eliminating sugar, alcohol, and carbs can decrease the worst effects of PCOS and make you feel better. It's better to rely on lean protein. It helps in stabilizing sugar and getting enough fiber because it helps in balancing your hormones. These handy changes will go a long way in giving you relief. Well, there are a lot of people out there who have no idea what PCOS is and how it can be diagnosed. We need your help in spreading awareness regarding such diseases and issues that are common. To do your part, do share this video with your social circle. If you have any more questions ahead regarding PCOS, drop them down in the comment section and let us know. Also, we have a YouTube channel by the name of Dr. Askey. Do subscribe to us on YouTube for some amazing videos.